forever. Dog. Everyone listening, you really can't do the sugar. Look what happens. You, you really can't do the sugar. <laughs> Look what happens. It's dangerous. No. It's a dangerous game to play. You actually, need, if you are gay, you need to do more sugar until you crash so hard that you get depressed and you try being straight again. And then you will find God in that moment. That's when you find God at your lowest low. Everyone knows you never find God on a good day. You have to have a really bad day. So have Ashley. the sugar. Ashley really did hit that cut. Ashley, and something please came loose. never do the sugar ever again. Guys, are we okay? <laughs> We're not. Are Something's we okay? Happening. Today, something is What's wrong. What's going on? So full disclosure, Mac and I, we already discussed this. Alina is not here yet. I have a donut. As you know, Elena hates sweets. Especially, oh, but yeah, but yeah. Why was the link called two in the pink, Ashley? Two in the pink, and one also, in the link. And also, what are you, what are you? Hi, Elena. Doing? What are you guys hey, giggling Elena. about? Nothing. Why was it called two in the, shh. Why was it called two in the pink one in the link because that's hilarious is and it because you're both wearing pink this is not pink but jen that's called it pink, pink yesterday what? and she said it was boy pink oh that looks pink to me this now you guys are you guys pink. are two in the pink you guys are two in the pink i'm one in the link <laughs> Elena, <laughs> i you seem no, so joyful actually. right now and uh -oh, i hate to do. do it after that i episode. hate to do this can you hear me elena Yes, what are you guys... Why? Dude, please don't. Mac? Why did you giggle when I'm I have to. I have to do please Elena. Don't. I no, kind of no, have no. your worst... I have your worst We're not going to be able to record of. if you do it. I have something to show you, and it, it's going to fuck you up. I it's going to fuck this. you up real bad. Actually, she already. cannot handle it. Seriously, I hate she's this. like, I am bidding you to not do it. Oh my. God. Are you ready, Elena? Are you ready? I'm making oh my, my stressed out hand motion. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm holding my stress thumb. Okay, you better hold your stress thumb. That's the one in the link. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. And I'm really sorry for the for the viewer for whom this oh. might be triggering. Alina, I had nothing to do what with this. I had nothing to do to? with this. You... It's a delicious. Donut. She's gonna crash. She's gonna crash. Ashley, wait, what's wrong? Put that thing away. <laughs> no. No. Oh. Just because I don't like donuts doesn't She's mean that you guys can't like donuts. No, it's fine. Donuts and chewing. Oh enjoy. God. Well, don't chew, but like enjoy your donut. Elena can't don't even look like at a donut. It whole. She wants you to you choke. Just, Elena, she's so <laughs> mad that you're eating the donut. Maybe just like so full of donuts. I'm just so full. I'm so full from this just donut. Without chewing. Uh, oh. Okay. <laughs> now that's my worst fear. <laughs> Okay, can I tell you guys something mm. that just made me think? Mm. Ashley! That mm. just made me think of my dad. Okay, so you know how I have, like, misophonia with wet mouth sounds, right? No. <laughs> my dad has it for crunching, right? So he, so that's where I got it from, obviously. If it's, her, if it's hereditary, is it? Absolutely. Um, Do you guys think I can I, take the whole remaining it. part of this donut and fit it in my mouth? I'm sorry. Well, you're yes, frozen except me, your but... image is frozen, so you have to Fuck! wait until you come back because I need to see it with I need to see it visually. Let me know when I'm I I need to watch you. Well, I kinda wanna enjoy it. Alex got me this donut. Alex, for reasons I won't explain because they're up to Alex to share. Alex has not been in the studio okay. for like t almost two months now. Alex, has it been like two months? Did he have a baby? Yeah. He had a baby. <laughs> That's Alex. He was on maternity leave. Did Alex leave. have a baby? And I, we give a very, is very parental leave? generous maternity leave at the Good Egg Films Corp, which is the name of my company. Yeah. Um, but uh, anyway. Congrats, Alex. You're still frozen, by the way. We can hear you, but your 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 image is frozen. I kind of like it, though. It's like you're frozen, like holding yeah, the mic and like, like the donut is like, all. you look happy. You're like this. It's <laughs> nice to see. Yeah. That's how you're frozen. I really needed the donut today. My dad has the me has misophonia with crunching and so growing up the way that i learned to eat chips i love salt and vinegar chips old dutch salt and vinegar every day till the day i die i salt learned vinegar <laughs> chips. no wait to salt and vinegar chips slap what's your favorite listener 
100%. What's your favorite type of chip? Salt and vinegar. It's the best slap. kind of chip. Mac, you're from Missouri, so I think you like, like, something disgusting, like sour cream and onion. It's less of the Missouri and more of the, like, I wasn't really allowed to eat chips growing up. But also, I just don't I, like those they, chips. They came in, in packaging. <laughs> yeah. I eat grass. Exactly. I'm sorry, what? Like, when you're a kid and you, like, find those little, like, edible flowers. Yeah, and you, like, take the bottom piece off of grass. Like, if you pull out a grass piece yeah. in the right way, it has that little white bit at the end. We would yeah. eat that. Nope. New York City kid Bountiful here. Bountiful harvest. <laughs> Absolutely not. Nope. Lies. That's, Wrong. Yeah, we would do that. Sometimes That's ethically you pull out a piece of grass okay. and there's like another little piece of grass. Mm-hmm. Another little piece of grass growing in it. And that little piece is like juicy. That's the harvest. Yeah. That's so then you just eat that little it. bit out of it. <laughs> that is disgusting. Oh, nice haircut, Alex. Me and Elena will do great nice. in the apocalypse. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Welcome to the Chosen Family Podcast. Wait, can I finish my... Hold on. To finish... So I learned to eat chips, salt vinegar chips, by, like, just putting them in my mouth, essentially, and, like, sucking off all of the flavoring until the chip got soggy so I could chew it without crunching. You gotta suck off that flavoring. I'm really sorry. (laughs) It sounds disgusting. But now that's how I like to eat chips. (laughs) It ain't much, but it's honest work. <laughs> what a pain. What does a whole bowl no. take you? Like two hours? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. What's, what's the estimated Elena suck doesn't time for a eat single a chip? Whole, what's the suckage? Elena doesn't eat a whole bowl of chips. Okay? She has three Can chips. Can I get the suckage stats? And then she goes... I don't want to. I I made an organic smoothie, so I need to go and no. eat that instead. <laughs> This is, I hate this image that you're creating of me because that's not, I love chips. I could, I can eat chips. I could eat, yeah, you're right. She's like, I could have four or five or maybe even six chips. No. (laughs) Savory stuff I can go hard on. It's the sweet, I just can't do sweet stuff. But I did have most of a donut recently. So, hello. Wow, you had most of a donut recently? That's crazy. (laughs) That's not. I don't know the last time I've eaten a donut. I don't know the last time I've had a bite of a donut. Was it like one of those okay. plain old fashions with nothing on it? Yes. Yeah. Yep. There it is. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Can we not get some? Can I not get some? Like, hey, good for you. Like, that was. That's not a donut. That's I a, ate. That's borderline. That's a fluffy bagel. That's a fluffy bagel. Fuck off. You had and a fluffy I loved bagel. It. And was I it loved before it. noon? Ooh, I mean, probably was it a not. was it a morning donut? I literally just did that. I okay. literally just <laughs> did it. It's like it's like Shh. the afternoon for you. Shh. Yes, and God. Oh, sorry. You don't know. Sorry. Look, you're a t- you're coming for me, and I'm. Yeah, I'm c- I feel bad. I'm in a corner. I there it is. I knew she was fighting gonna... for, fighting for my life. I'm hungry now. Maybe if we had a more sustenance filled dinner last week, we would guys. Be so I'm hungry. gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna hot spot. I'm gonna hot spot. I can't take this anymore. I miss you guys with all my heart. Hot yeah. Spot. Okay. Yeah, that sounds yeah. good because it's this is hard yeah. for everyone involved. I miss the other involved. ten thousand pixels. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I miss, How many... I miss when your face moved. Yeah. I miss seeing Ashley's face move. <laughs> oh, oh, I can actually see your face in like some clarity. <gasps> I'm back. Oh my god. Wow, I can like Should see. I, wow. the, I can see your little your little smile. Your little smile. Oh my lines. god! Fuck you, Elena. I get into HD for the first time, and you're like, <laughs> no, your I wrinkles mean, look no. great. No, no, wow, I had no idea how old no. you were. No, that was a compliment. I I'm love. aware of them. They're more I'm... prominent. Okay, I've been frowning a lot lately for reasons I would prefer not to discuss yet. Welcome to the Chosen Family <laughs> Podcast. <laughs> Alex, did you lose weights? Well, yeah, he you just beefing had a baby. Up? He just had a baby. He lost <laughs> a lot of weight. I don't know. You look like you might be beefing up. You have a glow about you, Alex. Sorry, sorry. I'm sorry. I just haven't. I'm reconnecting with um with Alex. People are gonna like become obsessed with Alex lore. If they're already obsessed with Alex, hints. No, they're the the Wahugas, the W H E S fans, the real ones. 
they know Alex and they love Alex. They're obsessed with Alex, particularly one of our patrons who I believe once said I would let him, I would let a plane land on me if I knew Alex was in the plane. I think something along those lines. People are really it's into dedication. Alex. You know what I you mean, should do, it, yeah. Ashley? You know what? when, like, uh, you know when, like, BuzzFeed and all those companies that are the same company, like, bring a celebrity on and they have them, like, read tweets? Do that with Alex <gasps> and comments about Alex on your YouTube channel. That is hilarious. That's okay. such a good idea. That's yeah. such a good idea. I would do it. love to watch that. How is everybody? I'm hungry. Me too. And now I want a bagel. Yeah, I could eat. I, I had to eat really quickly this morning so that I didn't eat during the podcast. But I also worked out before that. So I it's hitting me now because I just had a banana and some peanut butter. And so now I'm getting like, I'm getting ready for it. I need to eat. I usually wait. I wait until after we record to eat. So I'm like ready. I'm usually fine if I don't work out before we record. If I work out before. Okay. I can't wait. You guys that are long. you guys are so annoying. This whole thing. This is annoying. Can we let's talk yeah. about something? This is annoying. Let's talk about something else. Mac, what tell have me, you? Nope. Tell I'm gonna me something dig. about your lives. I'm gonna dig deeper. Mac, okay, we're you you were posting about, about like you have some sort of app or recovery time. You're like doing a thing. I need to just lay down. Are you okay? EDS. Yeah, I'm just okay. my back's tired. Okay. I think that I like this. I like a lying down <laughs> Ashley version of the podcast. Oh. Why was I not expecting to see some leg? I was leg, really dude. not expecting. An people, unexpected people don't, leg never hurts. People don't know this about me, but leg is sort of my best quality. Okay. I'm actually loving this. Can we do an episode where we just uh, all lay down? Yeah. yeah, this is so nice. I wish I could lay down. Well, you guys need a studio. Yeah. Hi, I, I would, live in I Vancouver. need to get an apartment first. I mean, Hi, I guess I live you in live New in New York, York so yeah. yeah. Well, I'm not a highly successful comedian, so. <laughs> I was a highly successful comedian. Now I'm on oh, the couch no. and I'm like in therapy now. I'm like, yeah, now you're just immediately I was, in I was mode. a super successful comedian, but then some things happened. <laughs> I. Wait, should we do updates? Can we do updates? How is everybody for real? Uh, I don't know anymore. I like this therapy bit, but no one's laughing but Elena. And by no one, I mean that. Because well, it's I'm sad. Trying... Just <laughs> shut the fuck up. Aw, does Ashley need a hug? No. Well, yeah, yes, but they're well, also yeah. bits. I honestly don't want to give you a hug. I want to give you a little forehead kiss. And put oh, a blanket on do you. That. Okay. You could get a little forehead kiss. Just a little... Yeah, but I, I want... I need to ask you about your dreams I last want night. The kiss. I, kiss... I want the kiss from Elena. Oh, okay, I'll Elena, I need you to sub kiss. in. I can. Ref, can Tap we get a in. sub? Tap me in, coach. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, Ashley, are Actually, you ready? Actually, Elena, I want the kiss from your sister. Okay. Oh. And I was just about to give you a little forehead kiss. I was just about to do it. And I retract. Damn. I retract my you, offer. You fumbled, Ashley. You just fumbled. You fumbled the bag. Did I, or am I closer to getting... A kiss from Elena's sister. <laughs> oh my god. Well, I lie down on the couch and I'm just fully unhinged. I feel like I'm watching yes. the worst episode of yes. Deal or No Deal I've ever seen. Yeah, this just changed <laughs> everything. <laughs> Who's in Everyone the case? Shouting. Elena or Elena's sister? Oh man, you Neither always swap the case. You always swap the case. At the end. If there's two cases always what's going on with us why why we're a little bit we are a little odd today well because no one's giving updates i'm asking for life updates and no one's answering me i feel like i've done so many life updates mac you do a life update um okay i saw something i'm gonna tell you guys a sad story that i saw yesterday and i need i know we have a very prominent straight male population on the podcast that Mm. was unexpected but appreciated Mm -hmm. And so I need but you we, guys we to, happy to have you. I need I need specifically you to write in this week and make me oh. believe that men deserve to be here again. Because <laughs> okay. after what I saw last night, oh no, it's so sad. Okay, 
Okay. Nobody cry. Are, how How is everybody emotionally today? I mean, look at Ashley. Do you have to ask that? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Ashley is currently lying I down on the therapy couch. I regret telling this story. If anyone today. says that I'm lazy on this episode, you are ableist. Okay, keep going. Okay. And that's not a bit. It's not a bit. That's not a bit. So last night I was on a walk with my girlfriend. We were walking around. Ableist. Enjoying the sights. I was about to say it. Good work. <laughs> Good work, thank Elena. You. Well done. Good <laughs> thank bit. You. Oh my god, thank you. Oh my god, thank you. So Ashley, there's this dad you. and his little boy. <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. I'm, sorry, I'm just Elena. glowing under the praise. <clears throat> there's this dad and his little boy, and they're riding mm-hmm. bikes together. And this boy was probably I've never been good at gauging like child ages. Like are they two, are they ten? I don't know. Probably between the ages of five and 10 i think did he have training okay. wheels so, on the bike just a huge he didn't gap. have training tr- no training wheels okay. so they're riding together and the little boy hits the curb hmm. and he falls off the bike and he like <laughs> skinned he wasn't wearing a shirt and he like skin so you're the dad you are oh, the no. dad yeah. yeah speaking of welcome to the chosen family podcast that's ashley gavin she's your dad i'm your dad <laughs> <laughs> and i'm elena joy and i'm your mom and i'm mac and jimmy your hot teenage brother mac baby. is baby who just fell off her bike oh I... mac fell off her bike mac fell off her bike oh did mac fall off her bike why did it turn into a porn though. oh my god what <laughs> mac did you fall no off it your didn't bike? no <laughs> no <laughs> mac forehead kiss <laughs> Okay, I'm going to keep okay. going. Yeah. So this kid falls off the bike and he skins his... Like, you guys know how it feels to get skinned. Like, it yeah. hurts. When you scrape yeah. on yeah. the pavement like really that, mm-hmm. Yeah. it hurts and it bleeds, like, an unproportionate amount because you feel like you just, like, kind of skimmed the surface a little bit. But anyway, he falls off of his bike, skins his arm, and mm. the dad, like, turns around and he's like, get up, you're fine. Like, why do you hit the curb? Why did you do that? And... Aww. Me and my girlfriend are both staring at it like, oh, and my girlfriend, she's like very nurturing and stuff. She's like, are you okay? And I'm just kind of like, oh my God. And this little boy's like crying and his dad is like, come on, get up. Like, let's keep, why did you hit? And like, tell, like blaming him for it. And we're just standing there like, oh, he, the kid's only oh my two. God. We watch, t- this the kid is, two to is ten. a newborn. It's a newborn the baby on the a bike. It's a newborn baby or maybe it's 10. <laughs> <sighs> This so kid sad. is either 17 and 364 days or an absolute <laughs> infant. <laughs> but guys, it was awful. Like, I feel like I just watched who this kid is going to become. Yeah. Yeah. And it it reminded bad. me of when I was a kid. And then it's just like, but you're uh, okay. it's just like, yeah. Well, and, like, then you, and then you wonder, like, if that's what you're seeing, like, out in the world in front of other people, you wonder, like, what's what's home life like? It mm-hmm. was horrible. Yeah. And I just, like, I need to be reminded that not all dads are like this. Of course they're not. My dad's dead, so he would never say that to me. <laughs> there you go. You've There's two, two examples right there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 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 straight straight men right in would you are would you, you that kind of dad and sit next to your son and say it's okay and give him a band-aid and wipe the yeah. tears off of his face and say it was a mistake or would you say rub some dirt in it <laughs> <laughs> those are your only two options for the comments that's down below that's one it. one or the other well, That's that, that was a bummer. Thanks, Mac. <laughs> that was a huge bummer. Just a huge bummer. No, it's not going to be a bummer after Guys, this episode comes out. I I can't believe I'm about to say this, but I'm crashing from the donut. Stop. I'm, I'm crashing from the donut. Ashley, why would you say it? It can happen. You can't say it. I ate it so fast. This is what it I've been fi- saying. It finally happened. This is what I've been telling you. I warned you. The sugar. 
I've warned Actually, you, you can't from do the day sweet. one. You eat sugar too early, you will crash. Oh my god. <laughs> it's not good for your insides. It's not good for your mental health. It isn't good for my, because I'm, it actually isn't good for your mental health, because right now I'm feeling quite bad about myself. What? She can't do the sugar. Ashley, you really the, can't do the sugar. Ashley, you really can't I, do the sugar. I am hiding from the world. I really thought, I thought that you could do the sugar. I thought you could handle it. Oh, I'm not man enough. <laughs> if only there were a male figure in my life that would tell me that this, it's okay to feel this way. Do you want me to call my Thank dad? you, Alex. <laughs> oh, you got Alex. Wow. Oh my gosh. Alex is the best. He's the fucking shit. He's amazing. He doesn't even fully know what's going on because I'm wearing headphones and he knew. <laughs> he just is his fatherly instinct. Oh. Can he do I the sugar? His, his new baby is going to be so lucky. He's still setting. He had so much donut and he's still, he's stronger than us. Because you know why? Because oh. he's a man. He's a real man. Not like me. I'm a woman. Yeah. I got to stop. There's pretend. only two genders and I got to stop calling pretending. myself dad. Here's the thing, guys. I'm straight now. What I've learned from this experience <laughs> is that I need to suck dick. Sugar will do that to you. <laughs> this is, guys, listen, everyone listening, you really can't do the sugar. Look what happens. You, you really can't do <laughs> the sugar. Look what happens. It's dangerous. No, it's what a dangerous is game to play. You actually, need, if you are gay, you need to do more sugar until you crash so hard that you get depressed and you try being straight again. And then you will find God in that moment. That's when you find God at your lowest low. Everyone knows you never find God on a good day. You have to have a really bad day. So have Ashley. the sugar. Ashley really did hit that cup. Ashley, and something please came loose. never do the sugar ever again. Something came loose. The donut plus couch combo is not working. We should start working. a second <laughs> podcast based on the lore of this podcast where we all just do the sugar and then record. Mm. Can you imagine? Mm -hmm. That would be the worst podcast ever. I... Learned how to do a Rubik's Cube. Dude, you are so fucking cool. That's you are the like, shit. Are you serious? That's my proudest, that's my proudest Dude. new thing. Dude. Yeah. How fast did you that do it? That is so... Not, not fast. I can't do it fast because I'm still just learning, but I can do well, it. How... <laughs> that's incredible, Dude. Elena. Thank wow. you. Wow. Well, how long you. did it take you? To learn? Yeah. Well, lucky for me, my dad taught me. I had, a, I had a father figure to sit down and take me oh. through the steps. <laughs> so he taught, he taught Until me. someone tells me otherwise, your dad is actually God. Superman. When I pray, I'm Superman. just praying to your father. That's black. <laughs> don't blaspheme. The father. Don't, you guys are blaspheming. No, no icons other than <laughs> our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. My father is dead, and that's why I'm gay. Oh, my God. <laughs> what is happening? What is actually, happening on this episode? Go take a cold shower come back okay don't get on your I, phone i literally last episode oh. i literally was like look at us go we're having a great time we're on it let's do another one and now here we are and what this has devolved into we've been recording for 25 well, minutes what I'm have also we said out of carrot juice have we said a single thing a good man brought me a donut and now i'm in i'm i'm in crisis because am i gay am i straight where is my dad <laughs> Would it be way too distracting if I try to do this while we record? I probably guys, are we okay? <laughs> We're not. Are we okay? Happening. Today, something is What's wrong. What's going on? This is my goal. If I can do this by the, if I can make this happen by the end of the recording, no, but then I won't be able to pay attention and I won't participate well. I'm not very good at multitasking. <laughs> <laughs> I love the sound of it. It's, it's like I it, do too. It's like neurodivergent ASMR. It's it NDSMR. does sound good, right? I'm just mixing it up. Listener who's listening and not watching, I'm just wrecking the Rubik's Cube. Mixing it up. Can you guys hear my girlfriend showering? No. No. Okay. Cool. Damn it, no! I don't Shower know why you're louder. worried about that. I don't know why you're worried about that as Elena does a Rubik's Cube into the <laughs> mic. <laughs> Wait, guys, sorry. Can you hear her cleaner shower? <laughs> Can you hear Elena, yeah, that's Elena, porn. That kind of sounds that's... like that kind of sounds like a wet mouth. Elena, that you can't yep. take your fingers and so dexterously move them on camera. <laughs> yeah, you okay? really can't. That is that is really fucked up for some of our listeners. Okay, that's my next level. Because like when you first start doing the Rubik's cube, you kind of like you turn it like this, full hand, right? Like yeah. I grab the top and turn it, 
But then you the grab way the that, top like, the and pros, turn it. Yeah, you definitely yeah, grab, grab the, top. the top and turn so it. So when I work on it a little longer, I'll actually level <laughs> up. I'll actually get to the point. No, I I just started, but I'll actually get to the point where I'll level up. And then, no, but look, 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 look actually, this is the way the pros do it. With when I level finger. up, I'll I'll be turning it with one finger when I level <laughs> up. You just wait and see. <laughs> that is the way that the, they do it, like, when they level up. Just, I think, should we go straight to questions? What's happening today? Yeah. Did any of us give an update? I learned My update was the little boy thing, and then this was the thing you asked about. My whoop. Oh. Your what? Which, which measures your recovery time, or, like, how does that work? So it's this band thing, and it just gathers, like different sources of data so like measures like my hrv my resting heart rate like all that basic stuff but then it calculates like a recovery score and mm. the money that you pay for the subscription goes into like funding these studies that they do so then you can learn more stuff about like different user data and it's really interesting although it's kind of i wonder if it's becoming a harmful tool or a helpful tool uh. because I've been way? using it for like two years now and I love it and it's awesome oh, and I like uh -huh. love looking at my recovery in the morning and like seeing how my numbers are improving and stuff based on different training styles like I love all totally of that bro. but now yeah. I've gotten to the point where like I wasn't planning on working out that day or like I was supposed to take a day off but I wake up and my recovery is so high and I'm like oh my god I can't waste this like I have to use like my body is in good shape today must work out and so now I'm like right teetering on that line because i'm doing it on days where i wasn't planning to do it and now i feel like i might be like breaking my body down a little bit so i need to like back off but at the same time i want to make my numbers better so i'm getting a little bit mm -hmm. Ooh, you're getting so a I little bit to... cuckoo about it need, it's to, addictive. need to maybe back off but when you yeah. when you hate aspects of your job and so you're trying to distract your yourself from that and then you start obsessing over other data that's not related to your job and making that better then it's sounding bad when I'm saying it out loud, but I don't think it's like <laughs> as extreme as I'm making it sound. But Elena, are you still Cuban? Yeah, I'm. Oh, I'm Elena's Cuban. It. I'm working on it. <laughs> <That's> hilarious. <laughs> well, it's like a Fitbit or something. When you when you put a number to something like exercise, it yeah. can very easily slip into unhealthy, right? Yeah. Because it's like, are you? exercising and doing movement because it feels good for your body because you're taking care of yourself or are you doing it because your little gadget told you to it's like a little competition with myself it's like how good can i be and like how can i make it better right which i think is probably part of the selling feature of it right they're like oh it's motivating wait but guys then i want to be goes... in the moment right now but alex is asking me if he can get me a bagel because he heard you say you wanted a bagel? Yes. Yeah, I kind of want one. Is that okay? No, I, it's not like I just asked. Okay. No, yeah. <laughs> the sass! The sass! The sass! It's not like I just asked or anything. Okay, they're they're making fun of you. They're making fun of me because you're sassing me. Yeah, we're making fun of you, Ashley. Alex, because I have to show discipline on camera right now. Okay? Ask Otherwise, Alex they're gonna think if I'm a, da a bad father. Alex, don't sass me. Here's what I would like. Can I have a toasted everything bagel? New York. Can I have a toasted? And my wallet is right there, Alex, and you can take cash from my wallet. Thank you. It'll probably be $20, so just take a 20 I'm so glad that when we finish recording this, my girlfriend will just be getting out of the shower. She's going to smell so clean and like fresh, fresh shower smell. I can't wait for Alex to come back because he's he's gonna smell like he's gonna and smell everything. Like New York he's gonna smell like garlic and onion and sesame seeds and just everything. He smells like everything. I think we should take a question. <laughs> yeah, we should. <laughs> Listener, just, we're just sorry. Just absolutely unhinged this episode. <laughs> this episode like, title, Danny. Don't do the sugar. <laughs> Elena, Matt, can you put, find a question? Put the cube down. <laughs> I just, Elena. I just realized that's why the bottom Elena. row. Next row, let's go. Next row, let's go. Next, Next row, row, let's, let's go. go. 
legs, bro. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, actually, when when the parents dip out from an episode, yeah. Mac really is not capable of facilitating. No. I'm we really for question. We really have actually. dipped out. Mommy and daddy got drunk. <laughs> yeah, we can't participate today. Hey, Lena, look, I'm an egg. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Is this is this a Patreon bonus? Have we? Have no we flipped over into this is gonna be a patreon bonus episode no i'm an egg and the people need to know so listener ashley has wrapped her legs up she's curled them into her body holding her arms yeah. around her legs both all four limbs are bare uh making her appear <laughs> mildly egg-like <laughs> <laughs> beautiful that was beautiful you know what you should do? You should narrate epi- like TV for the blind. I, that was amazing. I don't, I don't think I am qualified in any way to do that. All I can Mac- do is Rubik's Cube. All I can do is Cube. All I can do is Egg. <laughs> <laughs> We're losing it. This is... Listener, we've, we've done four episodes this week and this is why we can't this is why we what? shouldn't be doing i have to record a we're having gay sex and then a bonus you're having gay sex which is what i do on my patreon patreon oh what's that WHTS. two rows that's incredible <laughs> whoa well, now this, is where, this is where it gets hard this is where it starts getting hard so don't okay. don't quote me what's going on elena tell people what you're thinking well what I just did was supposed to make this yellow into a cross, but it didn't work. So now I'm gonna try I'm gonna try a different strategy. Yeah, Goes you are. Front, side, top, side, top, front. How do you know which one's the front and which one's the side and which one's the top when it's a cube? Um, depending on the colors. <laughs> Sorry. So basically the yellow <laughs> The yellow is the top I'm working with right now. So I'm trying to get a yellow cross. Mm-hmm. Uh, but it doesn't seem to want to be doing that the for me. The change? So. Yes. So I flip between the white and the yellow as my top. So the white was the top until I fin- until I got... Well, the white was the top at the beginning. And then so now... So white and yellow are dating, but they're verse. They're switch. Exactly. Well, they're, they're verse, but... Um, or there's yeah, they're verse, but the Mac yellow is definitely struggling. You are about to no, solve I, a full I found, Rubik's cube. I found one. The yellow definitely okay. tops more. I'll I'll say that much. Okay. They're verse, I, I but the yellow that, yeah. tops a lot more. And people are surprised by that, but I've I've met yellow and I'm like, that's not surprising at all. They're surprised by it because white starts as the top. So it's like white starts on top, but then you actually spend a lot more time with yellow on top. And that's and end. white starting on top is uh, colonialism. <laughs> we're just we're just solving the world that's issues why, one by one on this if, podcast. If you bottom, if you bottom, that's actually very powerful and um and active um activism. It's activism. It's activism. Are you done? Okay, Mac. We're ready. We're ready. Sorry. We're okay. Ready. If a very close friend there, of two the cross. <laughs> Colonialism, that's what I was trying again, to do. Inserting okay. Christianity onto some other culture is uh, oh, that's not. That's what it is. That's White colonialism. Christianity. Yep. Okay, Max, okay. sorry. <clears throat> if a very close friend of two years told you they were in love with you and they were telling you that simply because they wanted to be honest, how would you react? Would you end the friendship? Wow. Oh. Wow. We always hear it from the other side, don't we? Yeah. We, all, we never hear it from... I wonder if this listener is straight or gay. Did they say good anything? Good pick, Mac. I mean, I'm going to guess gay. Oh, you guys like this one? Yeah, good pick. Yeah, we like so, it. Yeah, very Stop good Stop dirty pick. talking us, Mac. Okay. Well, I'm glad you like it. I just... I didn't know that you guys would like it, so I Did just my figured... joke not make it through? What? I made a dirty talk joke and no one reacted. Sorry, I didn't hear it. Mac asked. <laughs> no, no, don't do that. Don't explain it. That's so embarrassing. I want to hear it. No, I want to hear it. I want to hear it. Mac asked us if we liked it. Mac yeah. was like, do you, you like that? And we were like, yeah. 
<laughs> well, we did. Ha, we did like it. Ha, ha. Wow. Oh, no, I, I think, messed it up. Oh, shoot. I think bare minimum. I love that I, we are. Ba- I this question. I fucked it. <laughs> I can't do this on camera. I can't do it. Then I can't listen. I can't answer questions. I'm like half not here. But this feels no, important I like it. I think for it, some reason. I think it's a. No. <laughs> it's I love the dynamic of it. I think it really depends on the friendship and if this how much this friendship matters to you. Okay? The friend, look, the friend decided to tell you this for a reason. Obviously, the friend wants to move forward either as your lover or just putting or to move on without you as her yeah. lover. Okay? Yeah. So now you need to make a decision because obviously you do not love this person. So you need to make a decision. I think this person would like to remain friends with you. Because it sounds I think like that. Yeah, I don't think this person would have said it in a calm way to if they didn't want to not be friends with you. Right. If they wanted- But is that a given? Like or are they saying that they that this person said that they were in love with them like hoping for more? Yeah, well, I mean I guess the only thing we out. got was simply to be honest. Well, Obviously, they want more. There's no scenario where they don't want more. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's right. true. Right. They're like, oh I'm my God, I feel you? the same way. They're, they're like, no, I just wanted to tell you that. I, just, I don't I, actually. I just wanted to tell you. I just wanted to let you know, but no, it's not going to go anywhere, actually. I'm actually becoming a monk, um, but I just wanted to let you know before I left. Uh, just to, to be honest. To, to bet. Just to be honest. I, I, I would say... Now it really comes down to you. If you want to remain friends, th- look, I think we've talked about this. I think there needs to be some distance. You need to right. say, yeah. if you want to be friends with this person, you say, hey, I I hear you. I am flattered. I love you so much as a friend. I can't be that for you, but I want to stay friends. Maybe let's take some time apart and see if we can come back in six months and be friends. That's what yeah. I would. That's what yeah. I would do. Yeah, especially if you if have a you partner. If you want to say friends. I would probably take space. Oh, they because have a partner? Thing is that like, well, no, I'm just saying they asked how, what we would do, and we all have partners. So I'm right. kind of answering it from that perspective. Like, I think I would probably think about how my partner would feel about it even more so about than how I would feel about it. Like, out of respect for right. them, as someone that's not in an open relationship, I would be like, we definitely need some space. And like, I don't know if ever... Can we open or not? I, I I think you need space for the friendship. So basically, space, space. <laughs> big hey big Lena. space. Hey Lena. Yeah. yeah. Do no. The Rubik's cube. Why are you? What do you? What do you, what do you think much? about space? I think space is the coolest. Yeah, I, love I think space. space is a good answer. I think I don't know. I don't know that I would be comfortable. Oh, that's tough to think about it from the other side. I don't know that I would be comfortable being in a close friendship with someone who had told me that they were in love with me. Like, I don't know. I wouldn't. I would feel like. Yeah. I, I would feel know. like if I did anything that could possibly be taken as not platonic, then I was like making a mistake or like cheating on my Can partner. I ask Does that make sense? you guys a question? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yes. I'm going to ask you guys a question. This is and this is not a dig at anyone who's ever been in this situation, okay? This yeah. is genuine. Yeah. yeah. How do you fall in love without reciprocity? Yes. Oh. That is so difficult yes. in my <laughs> brain. Yes. That's what I was thinking to, too, but I didn't want to like say something. For that me, was gonna... that is not something that I fall into. I need reciprocity for me there's got to be a little up. something something there it doesn't have to be much i don't feel like but there's i feel like there has to be a little no something, i something. i think it has to be close to equal i i really do i i see no, i personally I could see, I could can't see it. i could see it falling in Elena, love with someone. are you are you being are you pedestal no, seriously, right now can you really see this it? no see, if if this person was like a very close friend someone who you had a a a real connection with even if it was only platonic, there's there's a level of intimacy that you can reach in a friendship that I could see someone being like, shit, I love this person. Like, I'm in love with her, and 
I'm scared to to say something. I'm scared to ruin this. And now it's kind of it's kind of probably uh, too bad that all three of us are on this the other side of it because answering this question now, all three of us are like, I don't know if I could stay in the friendship. Whereas when we're answering the other side, we're saying, No, I you think should tell I them, could shoot stay, your shot. I think I could stay in the friendship because okay. well, here's what I'm saying. Yeah. I don't think that this is something that I would ever bring up to someone unless I felt it back. Right. Unless there was something that coming back to me. Right. Yeah, so I see what you're saying. I, I, because I think if they were giving me nothing, if this person yeah. were giving me truly nothing, and I had, had hinted at it, at it in, a, in a polite way, if I had flirted mm-hmm. with them mildly one time and I and a couple times and I got nothing back, mm-hmm. which is I think the correct thing to do, even if you're friends with them, I think you gotta yeah, mm-hmm. toss out a yeah, right. little bit. You yeah. you have to. You're and che- if you're, you're getting test, testing the water, testing the temperature dip your toe. for closure, if you, like a temperature check. If there's nothing coming back to you, literally nothing, and there's no reason, there's no reason, there's no other partner, there's nothing. Yeah. Why did you why did you put it out there rather than trying to move on independently without jeopardizing the friendship? That's that's what I that's my thought process right now. Right. Is the issue that that you've never tested the water or is the issue that you've tested the water got nothing back and you still want to say something? That's that's just my that's yeah. my thought right. process there. That's a good point. You know, when you're on the couch, Damn. you go to deep places. They say you can't really get to the deep subconscious <laughs> mind without really just fully, almost in a trance-like, sleep-like state. Freudian. Freud. Dreams. <laughs> Dreams. Have sex with your mom. Huh? Penis envy. <laughs> Freudian <laughs> does look kind of like, ah. There you go. That's Freudian. I don't think I have anything else to say about it. I mean, it's tough because if it's like, I think what you're saying is like completely true. If you're the person with the feelings and you can either not say anything and not do anything or you can hint at it and see what happens. But if that's not good enough, then the next step is like telling them if that's something that you feel like you have to do. I guess, but I feel like most people get hints Okay, but think about this from the perspective of somebody that is, like, literally in love with someone else. I feel like it's pretty reasonable to, like, if they don't, like, you hold on to that hope. You know what I mean? If they don't reciprocate it, if you flirt with them and they don't reciprocate it, I feel like their thought process is just going to be, maybe they just didn't catch a hint. Or, like, maybe maybe I need to try harder or blah, blah, blah. And so I feel like that's their stimulus for then wanting to say it to them. I also, but I also think there's like another, there's another layer there where you just ask the person out on a date rather than tell them you're in love with them. I do think like if you, I know we're going into another era area here that was not the question, but I do think if you have a real friendship with someone, you do kind of owe them some discretion. You do, you do owe them some subtlety. You you owe them. Ideally, ideally you would ask them on a date. You would kind of put the feelers out there before you're full blown in love with them. So yeah, that hopefully yeah. you can. Yeah, like, we should nip definitely the... take the the Hollywood lens off of this conversation because <laughs> right now we're like, did you feel even a little anything? You need to get down on one knee and you need to propose, <laughs> and it needs to be on a boat in the middle of the ocean, and it needs to be at sunset. And if she doesn't <laughs> say yes, you have to swim back to shore. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> taking it very uh, dramatic. We should chill the fuck out right now. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, Don't you did, think? Did, it's the wait, couch. Did, can I just say, did dad on the couch find the gray area and the nuance of the conversation? Dad <laughs> oh, on the God. couch. I think I love dad on the couch. I love dad what? on the couch. I hate mom doing Rubik's Cube. Like, I'm doing <laughs> it, but I'm like, I am ruining. I feel like I'm ruining the episode, but it like can't stop. I might just be bouncing back from the crash. Okay, here she comes. Here she comes, everybody. Should no, we sh- should we Freudium. cheer? Come on, Ashley. You can just come back. You can do it. Come on. Come, come on, on back. Bounce come back. On. No, I'm Bounce comfy down here, and I have to be on the couch for oh. the next my my wahogus. My we're having gay sex episode. So. Okay. 
I'd be up. I guess, but so did we help this person? I no, <laughs> because I. It's just it's about your comfort level. Do you feel that you can have a genuine friendship with this person where you are now not going to have to micro analyze, hyper fixate on all of your behavior to like try and not lead this person on? Is there an agreement that you feel is genuine between the two of you that this is just a friendship? That's all it's going to be. Do you feel like that other person genuinely is okay with that? Yeah, I think they have to you know you in addition to space you could just wait also till they're dating someone else you could wait till mm -hmm. they're active not maybe not maybe that's not one person but maybe they're actively dating and they're having a good time dating or they're committed to the date yeah there's so right. many ways that you could there's so many points in time that you could bring this friendship back um yeah. it doesn't have to be dead forever that's true yeah i think off the bat just no though for me but then it's good because then you can both kind of like get on with your lives if, I, I, if I'm not in a relationship, <laughs> no, I don't think I could do it. If I am in a relationship, fuck no, I absolutely cannot do it. That's what I was going to ask you is could you say more about the dif how you're differentiating between being in a relationship or not and like why so that, that, why that impacts yeah, exactly. Why why that So I think your... that affects me because if I was single and I found out that a friend had really close feelings for me and I didn't reciprocate, Personally, I would just feel really uncomfortable, but like obviously they're still my friend and the only thing that's being jeopardized is like my comfortability, I guess. And like maybe I, I would probably be worried about them and like them being okay if like the feelings weren't reciprocated and they didn't fade. If I'm in a mm -hmm. relationship, then it's way bigger to me because it's like, okay, not only is it my comfort that's at stake, but also I feel like I'm being disrespectful to my partner by like purposefully hanging out with somebody that I know has Mac, feelings I have for something me. to tell you. Tell me. A lot of your friends are in love with you. That is not true. Well, that is not true. I wouldn't make that assumption. You, you don't know my friends. I'm your friend. You you guys are, you guys are my friends. <laughs> Ashley, do you have something to tell me? Oh boy, yeah, where no, are we getting I don't, with this? No, I'm just look in it's my okay. own subtle way. In my own subtle way, in my own dipping my toe in the water way, I'm just bringing up to you that maybe some of your friends have some feelings for you. You're very attractive. You're an attractive. You're an attractive baby. Wow. Done. Done. Rubik's cube done. <sighs> I wasn't talking about any. God, you're just like really missing the signs that I'm putting out there. Okay, whatever. <laughs> Can we just move on? I think it's the end of the episode. Dude, do you want to go on a date, <laughs> dude? Yeah. Dude, do you want to go on a date? I, you two on a dude, date? Is, yeah, there, is there room on the couch, dude? Bro, bro. <laughs> Come over here. You, this is like. Come on over, we, bro. This is dude. not working for me. Man. Elena hates this. I'm, I love you, man. I love you too, I, dude. There are images awesome, coming bro. into my mind right now that I that's don't want your there. Fault. I don't that want them is, there. That's your yeah, fault. That's you. That's you. It's not working for me. Name of this but episode anyway. is Ashley and Mac go mask for mask. Ashley and Mac go on a date. <laughs> what do we have for dinner? Something that you guys cooked because I was I was yeah. MIA. I was absent. Thank you, Alex. Mac and cheese. I do feel the need to apologize <laughs> to the listener <laughs> for the fact that I just spent half that episode doing a Rubik's Cube because I was not present mentally. And that's that's all oh, we got to end this before Ashley gets the bagel. Oh, out. no. Ashley's got. Wow. That's a big bagel. That's a big York, bagel. Baby. Welcome that to bagel New York, baby. That bagel is the size of your head. No. Can you not eat it on? We oh, here we go. That. Okay, thanks for listening, everybody. Chosen Thank Family Podcast. Or wait, uh, patreon.com slash chosen family podcast. Please, please support Ashley's bagel habit. <laughs> Ashley, say please. Please. Ashley, say please. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, guys. Chosen Family is a Forever Dog production, hosted by Ashley Gavin, Elena Joy, and Mac Injamin. Edited by Danny Jewell, executive produced by Mariah Nicholas. Forever Dog Productions is Joe Cilio, Alex Ramsey, and Brett Boehm. Forever! Yeah.